I had a, a chicken curry with garlic naan, some uh, peel or rice, onion peel or rice, uh, some chips, and a sag paneer. Now, do you know what the do you know what the curry was as well? It was a uh, it was a new one. I was all for. I was hell bent. Chicken tikka madras, and then Billy Bone, who was sat opposite us, where one of Ramsey's mates, he 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 said he was getting something called a chicken tikka naga, and I've never heard of a naga before. And he said it, it's it's a bit spicier than a madras. And I was like, all right, okay, no worries. Because sometimes you can have a, you, sometimes you can have a so-so madras. You really can. So he said it's a bit spicier than a madras. It's a naga, and it but but this is what clinched it for me. It's a bit thicker than a madras. Because if there's one negative point, one down point of a madras for me, it is it can be a bit watery, can't it? You know, you've got a yeah. You know, sometimes you finish and you've got that little puddle. If if you even have one of them plates with like a little dip then you can guarantee that you're gonna have a little puddle there so i uh, had the naga there was no puddle i mop i don't know what everybody else was playing everybody else had half of the curry so i had my curry and then i had like i essentially had about two and a half to three curries and and it was great i don't regret it i went straight back on the diet the next day and i've stuck to it and i'm doing me interval training and i'm doing me interval sprints and i've went back to it so uh all good you've got to you've got to you know let yourself let yourself have a little reward Every now and then, and on that night, I had ten rewards in <laughs> in the way of beer, and three rewards in and three rewards in the way of main meals. It was great. It was great. I loved it. So the next day, it was it, I had to get up with Lily. Obviously, it was a, it was a Tuesday, Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays are you know. So that's when Sophie works. So I'm up regardless. And I could have really done without getting up on that Tuesday. I did not feel good at all. My, my ear was blocked, and it was about 7 o'clock. My right ear is blocked at the minute, and I was lying on me on my left ear, so I couldn't hear anything. And then as soon as I rolled over, I just heard Lily just go like, Daddy, Daddy, where are you? Daddy, I love you. Daddy, owl up. The owl's up. We need to get... I was like, oh, fuck, okay. Time. The owl's a little sleep time, I think. I was like, oh, bollocks. So got up, <laughs> and then... I was like, I thought it was a slam dunk. I went, now, Lily, I ask her this every Tuesday. I go, are we going to soft play or are we going swimming? And she must have sensed that I was like hung over, feeling like shite. And she just went swimming. I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. All right, come on then. Let's go. That's how you do it. You just got to get on with it. You know, you can't. I think you can do anything you want on the night out, you know, um, you know, you know, within reason, you know, uh, food wise, drink wise, stay up as long as long as you know you're gonna get up and you're not gonna let it affect the next day. You just need to power through. It's your fault. You feel like shit. Go for it. So she didn't miss us swimming. So we did the morning swimming, and God, honestly, oh, oh yeah, I got her armbands as well because oh, I got her armbands as well because it was either you know I'm I'm holding her loads now and she's like she's just tall enough where she can stand in the pool, but. You, she's, you know, she's, she doesn't want to. So I'm trying to get her something to float. Honestly, I must have passed out blowing these two armbands up. Like I did, I just bought them on the fly. I didn't think ahead. I didn't bring like a pump or anything. I'm just there trying to blow these two armbands up, and I got so red. Like I honestly thought I was going to pass out. Like and then and then I'm holding in any pumps because I'll tell you what, it got a bit. It got a bit. I was in the pool at one point, and I was like, I don't know if this is a pump or not, and I don't want to fight. If I I'll tell you now, if I did find out, I would not be welcome back in that swim. But I would have categorically nagged the pool. I would have, there would have been, <laughs> there would have been a mass evacuation of that pool. There would have had to, I've seen this done in Manchester Aquatic Centre when somebody shut the pool about 12 years ago. They, they just blow a big whistle and everybody out, they drain the whole pool and then they fill it back up. The whole process took about 45 minutes. That was a, that was the Manchester Aquatic Centre. So although it was a big size, the kind of, the staff were kind of on it. Uh, the one I go to, it's not that big of a size, but I don't think the staff would be as on it to get everything sorted within forty five. But I think if I if I had a went through with that of what I thought was a pump, I'll tell you now, I could have conceivably shut that swim bath down for the for the morning at least. <laughs> Category one emergency. Somebody's nagged the pool. <laughs> 